I was double check and make sure I have my fob and my key. My elevator is right around the corner. First, before I go in the elevator, I'll show you my laundry room. It's just right around the corner from where I live. There's two washers and two dryers on every floor, and I use an app to do my wash. It's almost like having it in my apartment or my home, because I just do my wash and go back to my apartment around the corner here. And then I have an elevator here on, to get down to street level and I have an elevator in my parking garage a block away and I'm gonna be talking about what's just happened this last month. So, lots to unpack, lots to talk about, both present tense May this month, 2024, but also where I am, how I got here, and where I'm going. Differences between here and Arizona City, this is the back door. I actually have if I get um, if I get a package from Amazon or anyone, there's a locker, and I get an email. This is my mailbox. I actually have a physical address. I had a PO box in Arizona. I had to walk about a mile to. This is locked, secure mailing address. This is what my neighborhood looked like when in the 1800s. And this is the exit and the entrance of my mercantile square loft. I moved in August of 2022 after car camping in Encinitas, California in the winter of 2022. So this is mercantile square lofts, 1590 Wincoop Street, number 406, Denver, Colorado, 80202. This is my life. And we're going out the front door. I have a secured entrance that you can't just walk in here. Um, you have to have this fob and you use it on this to get in, open the door. Also, somebody can visit me and call me and it'll ring on my cell phone and I can let them in. This is uh, just shy of five o'clock in the morning on Friday, a weekday. Again, I'm walking to Starbucks right by Union Station. My partner, it sounds like Gentry is winding down his act today. This is my friend Gentry playing on the street corner. And this is where I live, gang. 16th and Wine Coop. Now, it's a lot different during the day versus when I come out here at like four or five in the morning, there's not a whole lot going on. But folks, this is the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, 5,280 feet above sea level. And this is the corner of 16th and Wine Coop in the heart of Lodo. This is my friend Gentry playing in the corner. Here we go, all right, all right, all right. Let's try to sneak up on a
y'all. I gotta go. That's the end of the show today. If you wanna make a contribution, make a contribution on the video. What you got? Yeah, I'm gonna do this last one. My hope is ready. McConaughey, Dean Graciosi, Tony Robbins as my mentor as I brought to my electric car at my second Some level. Of you out in the listening audience far, far away, this is my Mercantile Square loft building where I've been here since August of 2022. <laughs> With Union Station in the backdrop and Oxford and my favorite David Bowie quote coming up at me that I'm going to share with you, I want to tell you my recent story in my four, walk, four block walk to the Lawrence Weston Starbucks. In real time, I'm walking back from Starbucks, May 28th, Tuesday morning. And this is a high rise building, four blocks from where I live. There are some taller buildings right around where I live, all within walking distance here, the Western Hotel. And the Starbucks I just am coming from is here. Now, Arizona City, where I called home for 10 years, did not have any tall buildings or anything like this. So I have a lot more to photograph and videotape here than my Arizona City house where I came home to for 10 years. So I'm walking home right now and I'm actually making this video as I'm walking home on May 28th, 2024. Here's some things. I've got only about two minutes before I'm actually in the restaurant. Here's why I come here every day. Now, to tell you the truth, I kind of bribe myself with my lift income. Because I just went through a major transition with my lift business. Major. Let me go. I'm going to show you one more shot of this. This is really nice right and here. This is my favorite time of year because it's May 27th. The first time in three months I paid my rent early and then Cummins Park is right here and I'm very happy about it. I'll tell you how I did that. If there's anyone out there, I can't see. Dude, you can't see him because you're, this isn't a live. This isn't a Zoom. You're not Matthew McConaughey or Dean Graciosi and you don't have a million subscribers, dude. I know, don't rub it in. I know, but what are we gonna show to the listening audience? You always say listening audience, there's no listening audience. Okay. But if this pretend there's one human being out there, so who is this coming up? 30 seconds or less, dude. This is Gentry on the corner of 16th and Wine Coop, where I've been living almost two years. He's one of my favorite bros. We talk almost every day. He's, he's a street musician. He's been playing the flute on the corner, six minute walk to Whole Foods. This is why I love my love. This is why I had to sell my Prius. I chose, it was the best decision, May 6th. I sold it for $11,400 at CarMax, walked out of CarMax, took a light rail to my bank, deposited a, a deposit only check for 11,400. Of course, it put on hold. I wasn't able to get the a cashier's check to save my apartment. Here's the deal. I was in my apartment almost two years and April was the first month I did not pay my rent from the first to the end of the month. And then we were already into May, May 6th. It was a danger zone. 
Victoria said that I got to send this to litigation. I said, what happens? I've never had this happen. She said, unfortunately, here's what happens. There's going to be a court hearing sometime this month. I can't tell you when. It could be two weeks from now, three weeks from now. And if you're evicted in your apartment, a sheriff's going to come out. You have to pay their salary. I said, this sounds really bad. I know you've got to pay their salary. If you don't move all your shit out of your apartment, they're going to take your TV, your bed, all your contents, throw it in the trash. And you're going to have to pay for that. Then you're going to have to pay for April month anyway and May. And then plus the balance of your lease. And then after all that happens, you're going to have a bad mark on your rental his history. You'll never be able to come and rent here again. <laughs> I said, this sounds pretty heavy duty. She said, it is. All you had to do, like you did the last three months, you know, here's the way it works. And she reminded me, you got to pay your rent by the first. If you don't, you have till the ninth. If you don't pay it by the ninth, you just got a $50 fine. Like you have done the last three months, you have till the last day of the month to write, get a cashier's check, give it to me for $1,190.70. You do that, nothing will happen. But guess what? You didn't do it. So now you're screwed. She didn't say this, but I was thinking to myself, I'm fucked up. <laughs> uh, now, Charles told me, dude, this is what I would do. The, the eviction hearings are usually three weeks down the road. Get in your car, work every day, pay last month's rent in seven days. You can make $200 a day. Work it like hell, and then you got your social security check coming on the 15th. That you only need 300 dollars more. You'll have two weeks to save your apartment. Go for it. That's what I would do. I was all ready to do that, and then I started getting paranoid. So I said, "Screw it." I have my depreciation asset, my car, which is my rolling ATM machine. It's been the focus of my Lyft business, but I gotta say, funk it. So I went to CarMax. They gave me 11400 Hey, dude. Hey, yo, what's going on? I thought this is your sub, dude. We should probably show a picture of their 2017 Prius Touring where you picked up 2,500 people and you sold it to CarMax, dude, on May 6th to save your apartment, dude, for 11400 I knew my Social Security check was coming in. Guess so. Guess what happened? I walked six miles to Cherry Creek on Saturday because my bank across the street was not open. I walked six miles. I said, I need a cashier's check for $2,470.70 to save my apartment. They gave it to me. I walked five miles back to my place. Victoria was off on the weekend, but I put it in her mailbox. I went in and talked to her on Monday. I said, did you get my cashier's check? I sold my car to save my apartment. Please process this. I want a zero balance. I do not want eviction. She said she would do it. And guess what? I got a zero balance. Hey. Plus, I paid my parking, my, my cell phone. Guess what? This month, right now, I paid my rent before the first for the first time. It was a good decision. So I'm going to rock and roll. I've learned all this shit through Dean Graciosi. Do you know why? What he teaches is your mess, as messed up as this is, is your message. What you teach is, I fucked up. I messed up. But my mess is my message to you. I understand how you feel. This old sales technique, dude. I love this feel, felt, felt. I understand how you feel. Your circumstance might not be exactly like mine. But let me tell you, I was 70 years old. <laughs> my dad died. March 17th, I went off the deep end, zoop, affected my work. Zoop. I, I was like ready just to just, just sleep in my car. I was ready to give up on my life. And then hallelujah, <laughs> I found the mastermind with Dean Graciosi. This is Matthew, Dean, and the rest of the gang that I'm a part of. Um, Matthew's The Art of Living event was on the same exact day as my dad's. 90th birthday for 24th, 2023. Homework at the end. And remember, here's the cool part. You got this family around you. The, the course is your main focus, but you got this family here in this community where with you meet the amazing people here. In fact, our mastermind family, welcome all the people from road trip into this community. Give them some love if they post. Let them know how amazing this family is as my hair blows all over the place. Uh, so just popping in here real quick to say welcome. You got one of the greatest courses that ever existed. You're going to get eight weeks worth of walkthrough to make sure you utilize this course and don't get stuck. You're a part of this community. 
all kinds of cool stuff. You're part of this family. You got inspiration and motivational Mondays here. We got live inner circle trainings every single month that are off the charts. You got Marie Forleo. You got myself, Mr. Matthew McConaughey in a couple months from now coming back to do a killer training. than anything else. So I think you might want to have a newsletter. And if you have a newsletter, there's really just one rule. That being normal is boring, please don't do it. Please let that little inner freaky weird part of you out, whatever that is. Let out the personality that comes with your friends. We've got like Nina and her red lipstick. Like I want to see that in your emails. I want your emails to feel like you as a human. And let me give you an example. Most emails from companies look like this, which is why we hate getting them, right? Anybody feel like I wish I got more emails in my inbox? Probably not. Okay, yeah, that's zero hands. And why? Because over to the right, this second one is a clothing company. It's a building. Why, why would I open this? It makes no sense whatsoever. And so, the reason I would get fired in corporate, but why I have 500,000 emails, is because I have some fun with them. And I want you to have some fun with your newsletters when you start them. Newsletters really matter in one particular thing, your subject line. In the words, will I ever, don't do it right now. Promise me you're not doing it right now. Save it for later. Go onto Google and type in the words, will I ever. The first thing that comes up, Google says, is will I ever find love? <laughs> worried if we'll ever find. If you type in, will I ever, the second thing that comes up is be enough. And the third thing that comes up is will I am net worth. Now we could do 452 different tactics today, but I'm just going to give you one. And I'm going to give you an example. So we had a newsletter that was going to go out and the newsletter was about um, tree trimming. And so the options were like, this guy made 15K trimming trees. This guy trims grass lawns and makes 100K. And I was like, these are so boring, nobody's gonna use them. Get me attention and don't be boring. And my team said, no, these are good. And I said, okay, how about um, we do a contest? I'll give a thousand bucks to you guys if your newsletter is my newsletter. And they said yes. And then here's my newsletter title. So this is uh, where Dean lives because he, he's, he shot video of uh, his golf course and he lives here and his mastermind office is in Phoenix. And this is just a photo I found on the internet of Phoenix, the clouds and the looking down at the desert. As you probably have guessed, it does not snow there. Um, it's very hot in the summer because I called Phoenix home for 10 years and I was based there. I like, come on Dean, get going, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Monday Motivation or Motivational Mondays. You can call it whatever you want. I want to just give a big shout out to all the new family members. You know, I think a lot of people say family members, but you're going to see something. This is a family. And for those that had the faith uh, and courage and trust to join Tony and I and this amazing group, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are in good hands. So Monday motivation, let me just give you a little history for those that are new. Those that are in the family, I see you coming on already. Hey, what's going on? Good to see you. I can't see up close. Hey, Andrea and Scott and Brittany. And My son, was he was headed off to camp. And before he went, he, he shared a really cool thing with me. I said, hey, what are you hoping to get from this? And he said, bye, I just want to meet new people and do cool things. <laughs> I thought, man, that is about the best reason to go and do something there is in life, isn't it? So I got an idea. What if we got together? We can meet new people and do cool things. Yep, 
I'm going to do my first ever virtual live event, and it's called The Art of Living. And I'd like to invite you to join me. We're going to work on getting in tune, all right, finding our frequency, not someone else's, by learning how to catch and create more green lights in our life. We all want more out of our life, don't we? More out of our relationships, more out of our careers, more out of ourselves. So look, it's time to renegotiate, right? Who we are and how we treat each other. It's time to re-engineer how, how we can get where we want to and need to go. It's time to restore what's worth keeping from our past and what's worth taking into our future. Now look, it's only gonna happen one time. Well, guess what else? It's free. It's gonna be me, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be some really smart people like Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, and others. So save the day. Come on, hop in the shotgun seat and let's take a little road trip together. Click that link or it's too late. Why? Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Until then, just keep living. See, she's coming on. I'm going to accept right now. Okay, I got to put myself on. Right now, here we go, start video, video, here we go. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I, 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 I wanted to show you something. Here's, let me see if I can, mm. I, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll, mm. I'll take a photograph. Um, one of my neighbors, Gave me What's going on? I, I, I'm going to butt in. I'm sorry. I know this is a Zoom call with Amy from Tokyo to you, but I'm going to show the listening audience this free desk that you got in the hallway, dude. And these are your Nitrin Shoshu prayer beads and the books that um, Amy sent from Tokyo, dude. And, and this is the Busatan I was talking to her about that houses the Gwans. And I know this is my loft right now, too. I know. I know. This is April 8th. I don't know if anyone's watching this video, dude. I know, dude. I don't think anyone watches my videos except for my left riders, dude. A wooden, like, cabinet that I can put the boots of ton on top of, of it so it's much higher like we wanted it to be. And I'll, I, in fact, I, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'm happy about it because it, you know how you told me it had to be much higher? Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I slept at 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And how's your how's your husband doing? Ah, he's fine too. Mm -hmm. Today yeah. he is dead oh, and he went to Hongyoji Temple. Oh, he's so dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so on, on, his on his day off, he likes going to the temple. Yeah, I know we, we should start chanting, but I forgot, how long does it take you to take the train to the temple? Uh, about one hour and a half. An hour and a half. And how often do you go to the temple? So <laughs> Three or four times a week. And then your husband goes there often coming home from work too, right? That's right. Mm. Yeah. After finishing, go to the temple and come back home. Mm. Uh, your, your husband's so dedicated. And you guys are a good, nice couple. Thank you very much. Mm. So, my friend, I'll let you start the chanting. I just wanted to talk a few minutes before we start. Mm -hmm. uh, How's it going about coming to Taiseki Ji with Miyoko's members? I, 
I, I have to get my first step is to get my passport renewed because it's expired since I haven't been to Japan so long. That's the first step because I can't go. And then the second step is to uh, make the money that I need to to put the deposit down. And at $600, that's doable. And that's in December. Uh, even though it's a short time, I think it would be a good thing because we've talked about me coming between now and December. So if I can renew my passport and put my deposit down and pay for my airfare, I can come. I, I'm working on it right now. I wanted, I definitely wanted to do that because it's been almost four, it's, it's been almost four years since I've came. It seems like forever to me. Remember, I went every fall and every spring, every fall and every spring, uh, oh, and, 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 and fall, and, and uh, it seems like a lifetime ago now, you know. But, uh, I, yeah, it seems so long. Shif Shifra, I hope I said that right. Becca and Claire and Amy and Wu Brooke, what's going on? Kaylee. Good to see you here on a Monday. James, what's going on? Like the bear. <laughs> That's funny. Maureen Lynch, what's going on? I'm glad. I'm grateful to be here too. You know, I love this because we get to learn from two of the best that have ever walked this path. We're so lucky to do that. And we're also so lucky to be in a peer group, an incredible community like this. I'm honored to be with you. And we're doing something bigger than ourselves. You know, these next three days are about going even deeper into creating your own economy, getting inside of the knowledge industry and accelerating ourselves. Put the word accelerate in the chat box. We want to accelerate our thinking, accelerate our capabilities abilities, accelerate our results, accelerate our capability to craft and create our irresistible offer. And today we're going to be going into that pretty deeply on day one, diving into our irresistible offer and also polishing it. You know, we have an amazing lineup of speakers today. We've got Dean Graziosi. You're going to be with Brandy Mungwa. We have Tony Robbins coming up later. Got an amazing lineup. Day one is going to really help us dive deep and put a polish on our irresistible offers as a community. Over the next couple of days, you're also going to be uh, working with Trent Shelton. There's a you inside of you, man. Oh, this gives me chills. But you haven't even met yet. Does that, does that not excite you? And I know some of us, like, I can see some energies on here and I get it. I wish I could hug you and talk to you face to face. I get you like, Trey, you understand my situation? You understand what I'm going through? It's easier said than done. I don't understand, but I do understand this. You made for more. I do understand this, that you built for it. You built for everything that was sent to you. built for it. You do realize that, right? Look at your story. You telling me you ain't built for it? After everything you went through, you ain't built for it? You're built for it. But until you believe that, you will continue. Mm, and I'm going to step on some toes. But you will continue to settle for a life that wasn't created for you to live. You deserve exactly what you settle for. And I know that's a hard truth pill to swallow. And the truth hurts, but it always helps. You deserve what you settle for. Don't complain about this, that, them, they. Don't complain about it. Don't live the BC minds at everybody else's fault. It might be their fault, but it's your responsibility in what you do with your life from this day forth. No more playing it small, right? No more half-ass efforts. Like, be dedicated to giving your all. Some of us, we plan it comfortable. Y'all know the beautiful quote, outside your comfort zone where change takes place. Yes, it's very inspirational, but it's true. Ain't nothing comfortable about speaking to 7,000 people right now looking at me. Nothing comfortable about that. It never gets easy. But I understand my mission and it's worth it. So I will choose outside my comfort zone every single time because this is the truth. Some of us want to stay in a comfort that leads to an uncomfortable life. Oh, man. Can I get some music, please? I want to end with this. Some of us will choose a comfort 
that leads to an uncomfortable life. Right? It's comfortable being at that nine to five. Nothing wrong with a nine to five, by the way. I'm not that guy that tells you you shouldn't work a nine to five, but if you're a person that's complaining about your job, complaining about your boss every single day, and you don't want to be there, what are you doing to change that? Because things will never change without creating change. And I know that seems very dumb, but it's true. Things will never change without creating change. I know you're comfortable. Maybe in your lifestyle, your finances right now, that's great. It's good to be content with the things that you should be content about, but you know if you're giving your all. You know if you barely just give it a halfway effort. You know, because some of us, we expect it. We're expecting full-time results from part-time effort. We're expecting to be legendary by doing things that are very ordinary. When you have an extraordinary gear inside you, and by the way, a legend is just an ordinary person with extraordinary determination. So all of you, find a way to make one. Because at the end, you just regret the chances you didn't take. So find the courage to take one. Your only limit is you. Don't surrender to your struggle. Make that struggle surrender to you. You see, pain is temporary. But giving up is forever. Never be good with good enough. When you know inside you live something better. You didn't come as far just to sell. You didn't come as far just to accept whatever. You came as far to take it to your next level. You came as far to become something greater. What makes it special is that you didn't depend on favors, you probably did it with plenty of haters, but it doesn't matter what doubts your life when your life is highly favored. So launch Pad Live for your dreams, for your mission, for your purpose, for your life. Just know that it's all worth it. And remember this truth. When the destination is worth reaching, the path won't always be perfect. I'm proud of you. Make a decision right now, a choice right now, to not let this just be an emotional moment. To let this be the moment, a bookmark moment in your life. When you go back to this day and say, everything changed today. Everything was different today. How I continue to progress in my life, it was because of this that I'm different. Because of Launchpad Live, the thing shifted to me. I go to so many bookmarks in my life today. Because of that, I am who I am. The truth is, some of us, we're going to go back to the same life we complain about. But you, you're going to get the life that you dream about. I love you. I appreciate you. Like I said, in every single message, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it. Appreciate y'all.
So let me tell you about these Monday motivations. They're usually seven to 10 minutes long. Five years ago when Tony and I did our first release of our first course, like Launchpad, the first version of it, the Monday after, just like today, I went live and said, oh my God, you filled my heart. It was amazing, you did. This was the best event ever, hands down. But I went live and said, amazing, good to have you. And I was like, that was so much fun. I'm gonna do it next Monday. All right, that was five and a half years ago. I don't miss a Monday. I think I've missed two in five and a half years. That's it. I schedule my time to be here with you because sometimes we need to just stay plugged in. We need a quick hit of inspiration, a quick hit of knowing that we are plugged into the right family. So there's a few things I want to cover here today. Number one, welcome. Congratulations. One thing we share here, I want you to hear this, is that we are a culture of progress, not perfection, not comparison. Don't compare yourself to somebody else who's been in this for a year and they're making sale after sale because then you go, oh, they did it, I can't, right? More, this is me, the, uh, my dad's mom and dad are on the right and my mom's mom and dad are on the left. They were my grandparents when I was really tiny. And uh, this is a very special f photograph because I'm now 70 and all my grandparents are all gone. I went to see my mother and father. I went to see my father when he told me, called me on June 1st and told me he was dying. He may not live till the end of the week. So I drove out to their house um, on a Saturday and got there Sunday morning. And I, I did pick up some stuff from their garage. And one of it was a whole bunch of stuff from my life and uh, stuff from my life story. This is Horseman Junior High School, San Diego, 1966 to 1960. Seven when I was alone. You are my main Denver. dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so uh, I could have everything here, but I'm gonna have. Let's have a burrito. Let's do a burrito, man. Let's do it, brother. We gotta get together, man. We've been I talking know. about for a no, year. I know. It's it's been a year already. It's uh, maybe been five years, dude. Five years. <laughs> Hey, but, I'm sure. but but this is the newest. I'm filming you right now. I'm telling all my friends in Tokyo, Hagaijin Jo. This is my. I got connected with uh, my main bro here. I, I missed it, bro. Dude, I miss you, man. What you been up to? I'm making videos, man. Hell yeah. The same thing, shit. Yeah. Making yeah. a living, driving for Lyft. I was going to say, how's driving going? You making good money doing stuff? Well, just trying to survive, bro. I get it. I get it. What kind of meat are you doing today, Doug? Um, I'll have chicken. Cool. But, bro, I, I'm being sincere, bro. You have a unique look, personality about you. I'm not sure about that, but I appreciate it. And I'm filming you. Not too many people let me film it. I don't care. Hey. It, it now, how's your how's the in engineering bullshit going, dude? It's going good, man. It's uh, you know, it's keeping me busy. It's, and what um, are you doing? In the best way. Uh, so right now, I'm actually working on uh, got an EP going. That I'm working on uh, doing some mixing and mastering on that. And then uh, you gotta invite me. Else. Can you have guests at your studio? Uh, it depends. They're kind of real strict about yeah, it. Yeah, like, like sometimes I can't even bring a lot of my friends with me. Like, I understand. Like, if, yeah, they they'll let me bring in my girlfriend sometimes. But a girlfriend? Like, you have a girlfriend? I do, man. Well, bro, I'm happy for you, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate anyway, bro, I don't want to keep you from your job. Yeah, you're I'm good. just. I'm gonna put this on a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you watch my video sometime? I, dude, I do. Every now and then I check in, I see what's going on, I watch a clip here, a clip there, yeah. I see what's going on. Yeah. I love it, man. Okay. So I love hearing that you keep doing okay. it. Three years old, I, this is a long time ago. It was 1976. I met a woman named Carol Cook on the Stone Steps in Encinitas. I was 23 years old, and she gave me this book to see the world in a grain of sand, right? I've kept this all these years. Now, we met about August, and uh, she was surfing out in the, on the ocean. Her, her father was a multimillionaire. She graduated from San Diego High School in Encinitas. And um, she walked up the stairs, and I noticed her. Well, long story short, we started um, talking, and she gave me her phone number. She said, I hope, you're, he'll, hope you don't mind that my dad's filthy rich she ended up 
she graduated from San Diego High School in Encinitas, but she, she, her father was up in Newport Beach. Anyway, long story short, that's how our, our um, quote unquote relationship began. Little did I know that she ended up taking her life. You can see this gravestone. She was born October 16th, 1953. I was born September 13th, 1953. And she shot and killed herself and bled to death December 30th, 1976. Now, I saw her just two days before that. She said, I love you, but I may never see you again. Wednesday, I, I was trying to call her in this forest stopped me from calling her and it was like this energy saying let me go let me go now the backstory is of three weeks before she took her life she tried to take her life with a uh, overdose of pills and i found out about it. drove my tr6 all the way up to the hospital she was in a straight jacket under um you know observation and i brought her even to my folks house for dinner and i tried to save her life but i could not now, it might seem funny, but that was like 1976, how many years ago? 24 plus 23, you know, 47 years ago, whatever it was. But because that happened, that's forever in my psyche. <laughs> Try to touch my hand. It's like you're on LSD. <laughs> you're not even high, you just look at these. Don't you, don't you think? Well. You gotta look through. That's okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> check it out. No, check it out. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, do you have done the it great... Hurt, I promise. I mean, you, you haven't done the Grateful Dead scene, I only, right? Huh? You haven't done Grateful Dead? Uh, I love Grateful Dead. Oh, yeah, I, I met Mickey Hart in the Grateful oh, Dead. Oh, that is pretty cool. Yo, know, look at that. Look. <laughs> See, okay, we gotta... Where is it? <laughs> There it is. See, we have to let the younger folks know, that I'm 70, really, that, really cool. that us that are in the 60s or whatever, we're still cool. Yeah, we are. We're, we're still cool. cool. We had the coolest cars, the coolest music. I mean, you know. No, and, and we have to remember, so, yeah, peace yeah. and love. We have to remember, like, I graduated from high school in 72. Three here. 73. 73. So uh, you understand. I, most of my friends are in their 20s and 30s because I can't relate to people my age, but yeah, I can relate to you guys. Yeah, for sure. But how do you, how like the, how do you like those? That's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt your thing. No, 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 that's no okay. it was all We're good. just wandering. Okay, wandering. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, it's so funny, Juncher. I just met these really cool dudes. Oh, what's he doing? And, and he already took off. He just vanished. He probably what didn't even. He probably wasn't even here. Uh, I put him in some kind of performance. <laughs> he started setting some stuff. I put his glasses on. I felt like it was on acid or something. Oh. Bro, I was trying to figure out what you don't do. got any money yet, bro. Oh, I'm going to get some money. Uh, how do you ride this? Have you ever done this before? Got to scan it. Memorialize another jump around the sun, another three six five. Join the party, feel alive. Don't be tardy, get off line. Go for the drive, get outside, do whatever you want, just catch the vibe. You couldn't open presents, need a check, spit some vinyl, fill the race, use your noodles, have a strudel. Watch your food, of course, feel the bang. Most importantly of all. Driving to Tokyo Channel is about driving, but it's also about Tokyo and Japan. And I had such an awesome time in the five trips. I never felt like a tourist. I've, I kind of felt like I was um, living there. So I could go through every one of these photos, but it'll take me forever and more than just a few minutes. Just real quick. This is Sari, one of my closest friends. This is David, who's actually a Facebook friend who's in the Navy. He's in the Navy, she's in the Navy. This is the head temple in Mount Fuji. It's a huge temple. It seats 5,000 people. Nichiren Shoshu has members all over the world. I think they number over several million. 
Yeah, but the largest um, amount of people, I believe, are still in Japan, but they're all over the world, including Sao Paulo and Brazil. And, and in fact, SGI, Soka Gaka International, that I belonged to in, San, in, in Denver, was when my first exposure to Nichiren Buddhism. And what's funny is I practice SGI, Soka Gaka, Gaka Buddhism, there's a culture center here, the SGI Culture Center, only about a 10 minute drive. And that's when I was first exposed to Nichiren Buddhism is through SGI. This is me at the Mount Fuji Head Temple. Uh, I went, I've gone there twice. Amy and I, the first time we went to the temple that seats 5,000 people, we sat right up front and they have big, huge ceremonies. I miss Japan and I miss all my friends, but I am having regular Zoom calls with Amy and actually I have a call with her husband and her in her house. I stayed with her for two weeks and chanted with her every morning and every I took evening. this picture and I took a lot of photos. This is Sari with her cute little doggy called Guji. Uh, we spent a lot of time together. We went out and Guji went with us and I caught this picture of Guji kissing. This Sari. is Sari and Michelle and me at a British pub. I got them together because I met first Michelle, he, 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 he um, went to school in New Zealand, so he pe speaks perfect English, and he does this crystal ball thing, kind of. I, I actually have a, a video of Sari and Michelle and I, and like Sari I said, home. I can go through a lot of photos. I just do a couple more, just really quick. This is Sari and another Facebook friend on the beach watching the sunset. Going with the Matthew McConaughey thing. That's awesome, man. Are you are you hanging out here? Are you taking it to go? I'm a, for, to go. To go? I mean, to here. For here, let's do it. This is my main dude. He's my favorite one. And What's Josh up? over here is like the main bartender. He does all kinds of shit. And He's the best. He's the best. He's with us as well. <laughs> What's up, Tone? Great to be with you all. Great to be with you, brother. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I like that we can do this from the different studios and, and be in real time. The, Without the, lightning bolts, anyway. Yeah, we <laughs> did. It's pretty wild. It yeah. actually hit, the, hit us and knocked everything out. Yeah, what you guys didn't realize, if uh, we ran a little late today because we were juggling a little, what we didn't even share is Tony was five minutes from going live and a lightning bolt hit his studio in Florida and shut out the power completely. True story, he called me, he's like, brother, it's black here, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> so we were scrambling behind the scenes. I hope we didn't look, look it, but I don't think we did. Tone, amazing, and to watch this crowd, Tone, just a couple things before we get to some, some great questions that came in. This crowd is 72% new that have never been a part of wow. your family or my family, and to watch them play wow. full out. So I'd love to give it up for this amazing group, watching them play full out. I love incredible. that, that's beautiful. Congratulations to everybody, it's wonderful. All right. Well, I'm gonna jump right in, Tony. I think we have Carmen waiting, Carmen N. I'm going to ask her message while, or ask her question while we're pulling her up. It was, what advice would you give someone who's terrified to share their story, but know it will help others? I have an idea too, but I, I would love to hear what you got to say, Tone. And everybody, let's give it up for Carmen. Let's hear it, Carmen. Is Carmen out there? Will you grab it? There she is. Carmen, how are you? I think that you got yourself mic to your, there you are. I'm mean, where are you in the world? I mean, yeah, where I'm are in you Germany. in Germany? Give it up for everybody. That's fantastic. Oh, in Germany. Nice job. Carmen, tell me just so we can clarify what's terrifying about sharing, you know, your story for you, despite the fact, you know, it's going to help everybody. And I've tried my entire life to fit in, which meant I had to, you know, carve out parts of myself to feel like I belong, and I'm tired of that. And I know there are other people out there who want to belong and want to stop fitting in. Yes, and so what, what is your solution? What is the advice that you want to give others if you weren't worried about how people felt or responded to it, but you were terrified? If there was no terror, what would you be sharing? 
That's a great coaching question. <laughs> um, I guess. Hey, Carmen, if I give you a suggestion. Once you show yourself out there, you probably will attract the people that belong next to you. Very true. And so what's stopping you from doing that? What's terror? Because when people say they're terrified, you know, we often use words that magnify the emotion and then the emotion gets so strong that it stops us. So I guess what I'm really asking is what's terrifying about it? Seems like it's quite beautiful to me. Losing the comfort, you know, getting outside of the comfort zone. And yes, losing. and if you don't get outside the comfort com if you don't get outside the comfort zone, what happens? If you don't. Well, you don't grow. And if you don't grow, what happens? Well, you stay where you are, which is not necessarily the happiest place. And um, so I'm doing nachos. Hello, Tokyo. Hello, Tokyo. Uh, and Matthew McConaughey, I'm still trying to introduce you to my main dude here. Dude, I would love to meet Matthew McConaughey. Now, Matthew, like he, I, I really get, because I'm still grooving down my path, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm so happy for you, man. I'm so happy you're making those videos still and you're doing everything. So. Even though nobody's watching them, I still hey, I'm watching them. them. Every now and then, man, I get on there and I see them. I'm like, I wonder what Doug's up to. I wonder what his last video you, was. Have you, have you noticed me? I'm noticing it. Okay, okay. D uh, I love this dude because he's a young dude. I'm like 69 fucking years old. But you don't, you don't look or act 69. Right? I don't you act younger, 69. You know? I'm a younger dude. Yeah, you feel, I feel it. You got the young energy. I'm like a 30 something year old in a 69 year old body. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's the key to life, dude. It is. And that's look at, you're is. just going for it. I didn't even tell you what to put in here. Oh, I already know, I already know. <laughs> have, what kind of meat you doing though? That's, um, the, big, that's the big one. Uh, I guess I would do chicken. Let's do chicken. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. Doug likes it all. Yeah, I like it all. He likes Hey, everything. I want you to know, folks out there, listening audience, Chicago, Chicago, uh, Kyoto, uh, Kazuto. Oh, shit. What's up? <laughs> Kako and I made it to the Pacific. This is the Pacific. First time I've seen the Pacific in... Uh, in Japan, the Chicago. Oh, oh my yeah. God, you're flattering yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, take care, okay? All right, Have a wonderful see day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good day and feel at home, all right? Do you mind if I pay, share this with my friends? I don't mind at Okay, all. okay, cool. Bye-bye. See, see, see you. See you. Bye-bye. Have bye. fun. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> you too. Vegetable or shrimp? Vegetable or shrimp or spinach. I'll have shrimp. Oh, hi, you take a yacho. Hi, Kajatoyo, Kajatoyo. Hi, Huizura. This is like the main American dude here. Hi, Kajato. Hi, hi, hi. You do just queso, right? Or you do both? Yeah, we could do both. So if we have anybody for coming from Tokyo, dude. And uh, here's my dream, my bucket list thing. What's your bucket list? I want to bring Matthew McConaughey here. 
Dude, let's do it. I'm down. Yeah, you sing, dude. He sings. Hey, yeah, she, she. You sing? Oh, well. Okay, do it, do it, do it. You didn't sing, sing too. With uh, Alton John, that's what you played, right? What's that one called? That first, uh, the first. Oh, song. that was Leonard Skinner. That's Leonard Skinner. Simple man. Oh Simple man. My yeah. God, yes. My mama said. Oh look, look. he's in here. I got you. <laughs> no, get no, in there, no. dude. This is a good studio. Get in there. Get in there. Don't be a pussy. Oh, Doug's a pussy. Look at him. I don't know the words. This song. Mama told me. me when I was there you young. Go. <laughs> Be a simple man. Oh, there you go. I'm a country man. I'm a country man with a country plan. Oh, here he goes. Oh my God, Doug's coming out. Performance by Tanner Brown and Doug Werma. I have the subdued. I have my subdued. <laughs> I'm the dude, man. I'm the main dude. I believe it. I believe there's got to be something good in the worst situation. And so I dig and I dig and I dig and I can always, always find it. A lot of people say, well, your mom, I don't think she went off with your mom. My mom was the greatest mom I could imagine. If she had been the mom I wanted her to be, I wouldn't be the man I'm proud to be. Because I had to grow and learn and become a practical psychologist. And she had a beautiful heart. I'm a big part of hers in me still today. So I tossed out those things because we all have those things that don't work. And I, I focused on where the real value is. So think today, what decision could you make today that would move you forward? What could you do right now today? Hey, one thing, get Matthew's course. Please do. I mean, I don't care. It's not going to change my life economically. But it'll change your life completely. This, he's put his heart and soul into this thing. And it's, how cool to be able to have Matthew coaching you one-on-one -on -one in your home, on your TV, or on your laptop, or your iPad, 24-7, 365, whatever you want. He'll take you on a journey you're going to love. I'm going through it right now. I think it's spectacular. I'm, I'm always absorbent, but this is a whole nother level. That's why I want to share it with you. As most of us are taught, or as most of us see it, myself included, is result oriented. If then, if I get this, then I will be happy. Mm. If I reach this goal, then I will be happy. It's almost like a ta-da moment. <laughs> if I get enlightened and spiritually, then I will be ah, namaste, whatever it is. And, and I'm always down. You know, that's my dream to bring Matthew McConaughey to meet Josh in the back kitchen here. That's a, you hear that? Josh, yeah. I want my main go goal before I died, bro, is to bring <laughs> Matthew McConaughey here in awesome. here to meet you. That would be sick. I would love to meet Matthew McConaughey. He's a cool dude from what I know. I'm sure he is. So look, I've had a lot of a lot of my uh, male friends, dudes, say like, nah, I don't want to journal, man. No, like, dudes don't journal. Yeah, we do. I'll tell you why. Any you dudes out there work daily to be better men, have places you want to go, things you want to achieve in life, be better fathers, be better friends, be better at our career. Write them down. We have them in our head, but when we write them down, we all of a sudden become objectively aware of what we're trying to achieve and what we're chasing. Write them down. It's like a like a personal contract with ourselves that we can look at. Don't compare yourself to Instagram where it looks like people are just getting rich overnight for doing nothing. Right? We can't compare ourselves, and we can't compare ourselves to the ideal that we should have been there quicker. The only person we can compare ourselves to is who we were yesterday, who you were before this challenge started, who you were last year. Watching my family members in here at Mastermind Evolve is one of the greatest gifts in the world. So we are a culture of progress, not comparison, number one. Number two, we take uncomfortable action. Our next level of life always lives on the other side of the thing we're a little uncomfortable. So if you're feeling a little nervous and excited all at the same time, congratulations. Congratulations. Listen, you know what the best thing? Our family members here being a part of the challenge. I watch you say you're reignited again. Love it. For those of you in for the first time, I'm reading all your comments. You're scared, excited. Congrats. Dig into the course. Don't give up on you. And this is what I want to share for everybody. Those in the family, those brand new. The reason I do these more than anything is for you not to give up on you. 
because I know there's people already who got excited about the five days, you got enrolled, you got launch pad, you barely have gone through it. And you're thinking to yourself, all those old beliefs are going back. Oh, I've tried things before. I'm too old for this. I'm not sure I have the time. People are gonna think I'm silly. Let me just ask you something. Are you really gonna let that voice win again? Seriously, you're gonna let that voice win again? How much has that voice already cost you? What have you already missed out on? Where are you playing small? Where are you not living into your full potential? Potential. Because of that same belief, because of that same thought. We saw so many people who are already in, already on module two. I saw so many of you playing with Glow. Isn't it amazing? Oh my God, even if you don't like tech, you have to go ask Glow a question. It is unbelievable. I didn't even play it up that big because I was afraid people would get scared. Don't you dare get scared. One piece at a time, our team is here for you. It, she is programmed to think like we do. You see all the comments of people going, God, Dean, she answered me like you do. It is so freaking cool. It's crazy and it's simple. You have access to all of that. You have access to the course. Our first training is next Thursday. How cool is that? We get to stay together, stay plugged in. So remember, next Thursday is a live training to start going through. If you can make it live, be there. If not, don't worry, it's recorded. I'm gonna nudge you to get inside the course to schedule the time to do it. Even if you, listen, and you go at your own pace. If you're a person that can do an hour a week, great. An hour a day, great. Crazy person. Want to do it all over a weekend? Great. Do you. Just keep having progress. Schedule it. Do it. Now, the other thing I, I want to share, too, is some of you some of you will get in your head and go, I, I don't think I can do this. And you'll get think about bailing before you even start. Give it 30 days. I'm telling you right now, please jump in. Go watch the introduction, the jump start with Tony and I. Just watch that and watch yourself see that you can do this. Remember what we said? And this is a fact. You are enough. You know enough. What did we say you need? The framework. You got it. You need to know where to start. You got it. And you need somebody to show you, hold your hand and show you how to do it. You've got it. You've got the ingredients to reach that full, I should say that next level, that full potential. And I would just hate for you to give up on you before you get in. Uh, again, I want to say to this family who's here with me every Monday, and, and so many thousands and thousands of you will watch the replay, but I just want to say this is amazing. You're an amazing group. Thank you for being so supportive and thank you for welcoming, welcoming this new group. Give them some love. Make sure that you see a post there where someone says, I'm nervous, go good, I was too. Stay connected. Because we know this thing, If you, we know this, if you leave things the way you, they are, they're destined to become exactly what they were. You take that bold, uncomfortable action, have a culture of prog progress, anything is possible. You watch the success that'll happen in this group over the next 60 days, you'll lose your mind and use it as your inspiration. If yours takes six months, it's okay. It's worth it. All right, I'm so grateful for you guys. I don't know if you saw, but we're doing a surprise live today uh, for everybody who was in the challenge. There were so many questions in the other group. You understand something. You guys are excited. You took a leap of faith and we are gonna over deliver in a massive way. There are hundreds of thousands of people who didn't. And they're asking questions like, what do I do now? How do I stay plugged in? How do I do it? You have to you have to take a bold action like you do. They have to get enrolled or do something. And I'm gonna light them up today to say, do something. If it's not this, do something, but they're crazy not to do this. Wait till you guys see what we created for you. I can't wait. If you guys are in, if you started going through uh, Launchpad, put in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm watching the comments come through. They're amazing. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you for your trust. But now it's up to you. You don't have, you, you gotta do the work, but you don't have to do it alone. We will be together next Thursday, live, killing it. If you can't be there live, watch the replay, stay engaged. And I'm telling you right now, put in your calendar the dates for the, uh, the Launchpad Live. I, I know it's October. Come on, take a walk with me. I'll show you what we're doing here today. I hear a lot of the office off today. Hey, when is Launchpad Live? October 6th to 8th. Hey, this is Tanner. Say hi, Tanner. What up? See, he's a real human. He's not AI. And this is the team getting ready today for today. Say hi, everybody. Hey. Getting ready for 11 o'clock. All right. Um, put that in your calendar, like right away. Look at, isn't that cool? Ping pong, shuffleboard. Anyway, I digress. Uh, put it in your calendar. You're not going to want to miss that event. Take off.
cancel plans. I mean, if you got a wedding planned, I get it. But anything else, cancel it. It is a three-day event. Tony, myself, amazing guest. It is the immersive event. When you're done with that event, you'll know for a fact, this is your life. This is what we're doing. Impact, success, purpose, passion, and next level abundance. All right, that's it. You know what? Do me a favor. Those of the family, those that are new to this family, I want you to reconfirm that you're in. Say, I'm in below. I'm dedicated. I'm committed. I'm here with you. I didn't sleep for five days preparing for you guys. I finally got a half a day with my family. I say, I love it, but I'm back here going live again because I'm that committed. Tony's that committed. This team is that committed. Give us that commitment. Watch what we can do together. All right. See you at 11 o'clock. I'll see you next Thursday, and I'll see you here every Monday. It's very hot in the summer, but the fall winter and spring are very nice about eight months out of the year it's very nice and it's about a seven hour drive to los angeles and from my folks house it's only about a five and a half hour drive to san diego and the and uh, the ocean so that's why some people love phoenix and love um, phoenix area because it's not far from southern california and and it's um it's really beautiful in its own way i love guys with wood Dot, dot, dot. Do you think that email got a few old bits? I want you to feel comfortable sharing whatever it is inside of you. Now this one is very much Cody. My mom definitely wouldn't send this email. But I want you to feel comfortable sharing that thing inside of you in your own particular language. We love humans. Be human. Yes, we're going to use AI to help you, but your human is the difference between robots and you. So make sure you keep it. And lastly, when you get obsessed with your purpose, it becomes your obsession. Nobody tells you this. Most other things in life end up feeling like a distraction. And your unfair advantage is that if you spend the time finding your triangle of genius, nobody will be able to compete with you because you'll be so obsessed they can't keep up. Now my last slide was my second walk with a billionaire. And on this walk with a billionaire, it's a guy by the name of Bill Perkins who wrote a book called Die With Zero, if you guys have ever read it. And we're walking along his mansion in Lake Austin, and he's talking to me about the mission that he sees for me. And he's like, I think we should own more small businesses, and I don't want any more Walmarts. And it's your mission to sort of take back small America by teaching more people this. And I'm like, yes, it is. I got it. And I tell him all my ideas. I've learned just about anywhere else in life. It's like a classroom. It's like an office. It's a place where my memory catches up with me. It's a place where I get far enough away from my past that I'm not worried about it. And and something about that makes me not even worry about my damn future and I can be present and then all of a sudden my past and the future all makes hell more sense. Road trips are so good for us and, and the head and the heart and the spirit. And I'm ready to take one again. How about you? You want to take a road trip? I'll take my road trip. You take your road trip. And if you can't take a little road trip right now, what about a road trip you've taken in the past? Share some memories, some photos, some videos of road trips in your past where where, where you cross some things that turns you on, that you got an appetite for, maybe an indigestion for, the memory where memory caught up with you, where you got inspired, where maybe something happened to you on the road trip where you changed for the better. Share your favorite photos and videos with me on social media, and I'll share them with you. At officially McConaughey, hashtag highway to more, because that's the point of this whole gig. When we take a road trip, it's not just like we're going nowhere. We're going somewhere, hopefully trying to get more out of where we're going and be more of ourselves when we get back. I was not here in my folks house or Arizona City. I was actually in Denver, Colorado at my um, Mercantile Square Loft and I, I recorded it and I have it forever. So here we go. says here, this is the advantage people don't realize they need until they have it. But there's truly nothing more powerful than being surrounded by people with the right mindset and an attitude geared towards success. Dean Graciosi, Tony Robbins, and Matthew McConaughey. And I, 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 I saw the Lord. <laughs> I got the wisdom to say, fuck it, I can sell my car. I can save myself, therefore, not lose my apartment.
So that's my hallelujah moment. I'm a praise God. <laughs> you know, Matthew McConaughey, Dean Graciosi are Christians, but they're more metaphysical. I'm kind of a Buddhist kind of dude. I'm a born again Buddhist. If you could be a born again Christian, I can be a born again Buddhist because I believe in other lifetimes. And I'm a metaphysical Forrest Gump, stand up comedian, amateur photographer, amateur content. See, everything's amateur because I don't make any money. The way I make money is with this lift car. It's now electric. I've, I've, I've reincarnated into an electric car from my Prius. And now I'm a happening dude and I'm picking up riders. I could have had everything gone away, but I listened to Dean. I've been on masterminds. I'm a testimony for their, Dean is a happening dude. If your life is fucked up and you've got a mess, watch my videos. I'm gonna introduce you to Dean. And look, I even grow my beard out. This is as long as, see you could be authentically weird like me. You don't have to grow a beard out, but you know, in Japan, they don't usually have beards like this, but I'm a Buddhist. I'm a member of the Nichiren Shoshu Buddhist temple, and I've got a story to tell. It's called Driving to Tokyo, and it could potentially, pure potentiality, be a movie with Matthew McConaughey, Jeff Bridges. I always tell my writers, look for this movie. If you see a movie called Driving to Tokyo with Matthew McConaughey and Jeff Bridges, that was about me, except I'm going to be the old uncle dude that's going to train Matthew how to drive a truck. Watch for it. And you can say you met the dude before it happened. That's why I tell all my Lyft customers. They may not believe me. Some of them get out of the car at the airport and say, I'm going to watch for that movie. You got to speak it into existence. What the hell? You speak it into existence. It doesn't happen. Do you have anything to lose? No. But if you speak it into existence, you do affirmations. You visualize. You take action. You listen to Dean, Tony. They're happening dudes. See, basic principle of personal development, even if you're 70 years old, Wayne Dyer's gone, Ram Dass is gone, I'm gonna be gone. Do you know 200 years from now, we're all going to be gone, including me. The clock is ticking, dude. I know, I'm kind of sitting here at Wash Park. I was here watching Dean Graciosi's preview of how to have a successful 2024, and said, so I've gotta get my shit together, because here, can I be real with you? This 10 minute Dean zone thing. Z -z 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 -z. Dean says everything in 10 minutes or less. So let me, I'm a grasshopper. He's the master. But let me tell you, he has a way to make you feel that he's actually talking to you when he's not. See, he doesn't look into the camera. Do you know what, do you know what Dean never does? He never does what I do. So I, I think I listen to his coaching. He doesn't come on go, hey, I hope someone's here talking to, listening to me. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. I hope you're out there. I don't see anyone. I hope you can listen to me. I hope I'm not talking to myself about stuff I already know. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> is there anybody out there? <laughs> he doesn't talk like that. He talks like there's a million people there. In fact, he has talked in front of two million, dude. And sometimes he just talks to us. And I've been talking to Legal Pete's Bloom about this stuff. See, you got to use what's in front of you. So I got my, my loft. I got my Lyft business. I'm never going to make $250,000 a day driving for Lyft. That would be so ridiculous. I found the Lord. And now I'm making $250,000 a day driving for Lyft. You probably wouldn't believe me. But would you believe me if I said I made $200 a day? Or my income went from $100 a day to $900, 9000 a month? I think you could be a testimony, dude, but you've got to get your shit together. This is a moment of truth. Now you got your electric car. You just charged it. You got 329 miles. You don't have to go to the gas pumps anymore. It's black. Your other one was white. Let's, this is getting up to the Dean zone. 10 minutes. This is one of your videos. Send it now.